All right, y'all, fresh off the press, we got WAC 100 going at it with Trife Gangster about Troy Ave taking a stand. WAC 100 wanted to know how Trife felt about that. What was his stance on it? Is he okay with it? You know, regular politics. What's the word, y'all? Always watching TV. Back with another exclusive. You know the vibes. Make sure you hit that like button if you're rocking with the content. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you know if I whenever I drop. All right, so Tribe Gangster pulled up. They had they back and forth, and then they went into a deep dive as far as the sentencing and how much time Tax Stone is looking at. And it was a real interesting take. But enough of me talking, man. Let's get into the audio. He's always watching TV. So he, so After Tribe Gangster said too. what Troy Ab did is solid. Tribe on the floor right now. He right there. At? Bro, that man getting on oh, that stand and saved himself on them gun cases. That was solid. Cause he was never accused of the body. He was he had gun case. Cause I seen a little altercation in front of the court. I don't know what that, that was. was Manolo Rose. See, one, but who was that? Came Manolo on, got into a Woody. Was that Troy or Trife? Who was that? That was Trife. Yeah, well, well, that's what I'm saying. Why was Trife mad at Dude? I understand that's his brother. Rest in peace. I understand that. But Dude Manolo Rose was speaking on what Troy Ave got on the stand and did. He ain't disrespect Trife, bro. Just really want to know how you feel about that man getting on that stand, saving himself for none cases. Trife can speak for himself, but I think his only concern was justice for Banger. I don't think he was caught up in the Nah, nah, it's, but Banger wouldn't even want a justice like that. He know that. Nah, I'm with you. I mean, end of the day, you know, boy, oh, he gonna, I'm telling you, he gonna, he gonna be home in three years <clears throat> or another 10. If they run that nigga Bole, he gonna do another dime. If they run him concurrently, he'll be home in three right. years. I'm telling Troy Ave me, hey, look, bro. Listen, you don't know nothing, nigga. You confused about the whole story. Somebody paid you to lie. Troy, Troy wasn't gonna do that though, cause he, you know, they was gonna put them things on him. Yeah, Troy, how you that man getting on that stand like that, bro? Saving himself on them gun cases, bro. I know you don't stand with that one. Yeah, I we ain't even discussing your brother, cause I got a brother gun. We ain't talking about that. I'm talking about that man. Saving himself from the gun case because guess what? We all gonna watch and see if he go back and get any time for the gun cases. If that man don't get a day for the gun cases, y'all know what that was about. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just say this real quick, right? Because I, I, um, I was my phone wouldn't let me speak just now. Yeah. Um. So first, yeah, that I, I addressed Manolo Rose outside the courtroom because the. YouTube dude had just asked me for an interview after Av testified, mm -hmm. and I and I told him I'm good. I'm not I'm not doing no interviews right now. Got you. So he's standing right next to me, waiting for me to say something. And Manolo Rose comes out the court and start talking about how Troy Av is lying. So he he run his mouth like he was in the green room that night. So I, mm -hmm. that's why I said something to him. That you yeah. saying something in front of me, and I'm not jacking. I'm dealing with it right away. You dealing with, but see, this was crazy, Trice. Uh, Mano is kind of tapping with Manola saying he's saying that that went a whole nother way. Yeah, yo, I'm gonna say this again. A lot of people talking, but they're not talking fact. They're talking internet rumors. I said. Well, he said program. he was back there. Mano, right? Was I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about Mano. I'm not talking about what Mano said. Uh -huh. He's somebody that was in the building. Right? I'm yeah. talking about the facts of what I, what came out of that trial. So I'm not going to comment on the trial or testimony because at the trial, Jack Stone lawyer and cross-examining Troy Ave uh -huh. while I'm sitting in the courtroom brung up something that I said on Clubhouse. Got what? I mean, shit over with. That nigga. No, it's me. not. No, no. He got to get sentenced. He got to get sentenced. It's not. Yeah, over with. Either they gonna run the nigga. Either they gonna run the nigga. Could, could, listen, bro. If they run a nigga bow leg and he be home in ten, they run him a nigga concurrent, he'll be home in three. That's got, not gonna happen. I don't know what time y'all on, bro. That's, how long you been what, gone? Six. He been gone six been, or seven, right? Bro, the minimum. The minimum. Niggas are talking about he, he beat. He beat the murder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he only got a second degree, right? No, he, he, bro, he, based on, based on testimony, uh -huh. he beat, he beat, they could not prove murder. They proved manslaughter. Manslaughter, that's 15. That, that's the minimum. Yeah. That's, that's the minimum in New York if you, if you plead 15. guilty. If you plead guilty, that's the minimum. That's not yeah. the max. So you go to trial, you're not getting no minimums when you go to trial. Second. Well, well, well let me, okay, he got okay. multiple cases. They're running consecutive. Right. He, consecutive. No, he got, 
he got yeah. multiple he got multiple guilty verdicts. So it's all it's based on the judge how the judge plans. Yeah, to if he run it concurrent, he, it ain't gonna be that that bad. But he run it consecutive, he get fifteen here, seven here, five year. Then you you know you 22, 27 up there. But if they say you got fifteen for the manslaughter, seven for this assault, five for the motherfucking guns to be ran concurrent, that means everything is in the fifteen. That's how I got love. Everything's in the 15 years, and then the nigga been down, what, about six? Something like that? Been down, yeah. something like that. So when he get his good time in, that six is going to stand down at like nine to ten. That come off the top. They going to take that off the top, and the remainder of that, he going to do whatever percentage New York. I don't know if y'all do 80%, 85%. I don't know how y'all thing work out there for violent offenses. I know ours is a third for one thing, 50 for 60 percent another thing, 80 for one and 85 percent for another thing. So I don't know all that work. But nevertheless, uh, I don't really like touching on the brother because I got one gone and I understand what that is. But the fact that when I didn't never knew that the nigga had pending charges that they found after the fact and that that's really what they why he took the stand is to evade that. I, I beg to differ. That's why I, I'm going to... So he's going to get sentenced for that, yeah. though? So he yeah, fight he, that? He, yeah, he, I, I didn't... Listen, I didn't know... I didn't speak to him since... For years. So I don't... I wasn't sure of nothing he was doing. So it was a, it was one thing when nigga said I was pressuring him. I ain't... Speak, after no, I, no, I, we he, ain't even... We ain't even entertaining the conversation. Got you. I never... I didn't speak to him for years. I didn't find out that he was testifying until I was in the courthouse. And the DA said... Malcolm Kenyon and Troy Evans testifying. That's when I found out. So did you right. know that he had pending charges? Yeah, he got caught with the, he got caught with three guns the night that it happened. Yeah, see what they were saying is we just thought he got caught with be picked up. They saying nah, this nigga got some got some some shit in the car they filed or whatever they did, you know whatever the fuck. I know. Wrote, nigga, it is what it is. Dudes going to clubs, he testified to it. Dudes move around with their situations. They niggas was going to Urban Plaza, didn't take guns in the Urban Plaza. And yeah. Left him in the and left him in the car. Yeah. And when he when he when the situation happened, this is all facts from testimony. This is not rumors that yeah, 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 yeah. facts. When he left, then after it happened, when my brother was on the floor. He passed the right to one of the homies, and the homie took the to the car. When they got to the hospital, and Av was shot, there was an off-duty cop moonlighting at the hospital. And he knew that there was something involved with that with the vehicle, so he held the vehicle for them to get a warrant and search. And they found the three in the in the trap. The DNA, they traced the DNA back to South Carolina. Dude said he sold it to tax. They the Fed snatched tax, hit him, with, hit him with felon in possession, and bringing over state lines. He pled guilty in the Feds. And he had to plead guilty to the feds. He pled guilty that he was in possession of the nine. My brother was killed by a nine millimeter, nine millimeter uh-huh. Keltec. He said he had the Keltec. He brought the Keltec into Irvin Plaza and that on that night, my brother was and other people were shot. He didn't say that he did it, but he pled guilty that that is the gun that did that. This is what he did in the feds. This is federal records. The feds did not sentence him. He's, he has to be sentenced by the feds too. Because the way the feds work, and you know this, yeah, yeah. that crime is not over because they know that, that that crime has murder and shootings on it. So once he gets <coughs> sentenced... Oh, the fans, so the feds ain't even charged him with crossing the straight lines. No, they did. That's the first two charges, but they're going to expedite his points when he gets sentenced because he's been found guilty on the state charges. So are, they go, are the feds going to let the state handle it, or are they going to no, the vote? No, gonna, the feds is going to sentence him to... Oh, got you. Yeah, he f***ed up. He bowled yeah. The feds are gonna yeah, that's the, he Jimmy Henchman, he bow legged. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Fed the Feds is wait was waiting for the outcome of this case, because you know Feds is based on point system. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah, is yeah, yeah. gonna bring his points up. So bring he could points up. facts. The state in this case, as part of their evidence, they used his plea in the feds to prove that that was his weapon and that he brought that weapon into oh, that Oh, Nasty work. That's nasty work right there. Nasty that's work. Facts. He got found, and a lot of people don't even know what happened at this trial. Yo, this man was caught with, with a cell phone. Six cell phones since he's been on the island. One of those cell phones 
they brung we got what's called the part of investigation they Rikers Island had part of investigation pick up the cell phones they pulled the data from the cell phones everybody think about this telegram app the telegram app he was using the telegram app to bribe witnesses to come in and testify. He was on a joint. They got the audio played through the trial where he's talking to his sister and tell his sister, yo, yo that nigga needs to pick sucks up. He's, he's the way to get me out of here. He going, he going to say that he didn't see me with the gun in my hand because the dude messaged him and said, yo, I was in Urban Plaza that night. So he, he hit his sister like, yo, son was in Urban Plaza. We give him some money to say that he, when I was, when the shots went off, he saw me with a bottle of dude. And you know who else did this shit at night? Y'all remember when Suge Knight trial was supposed to start and the day was supposed to start? 45 minutes later, they walked out and said he took 28? That's why. They had 100 hours of conversation on the nigga doing that. Time. They, had, they, got, they got him. Facts. They had him on, on the phone, oh, in his tripping. voice, in his voice, saying, this is what I need him to say, and this is, yo, make sure you do this for him, help him out, do whatever you need. But he gonna be, he gonna be the, he gonna, he's gonna create reasonable doubt in my case. Oh, yeah, he ain't getting the low. So what's the, what's the men in the high on manslaughter in New York? He the minimum on, so. They got the all minimum, that. Look, bro, he got, he, this is, this is, the, the facts is, like I said, I'm not, I'll talk about anything no, else later because, shit. I'll talk about anything else later because dude need to get sentenced and I need to be on point for how that go out, you know what I'm saying? Because regardless of what happens, I need to know where that's at. But, you yep. know, my point is, he got found guilty of man one. Man one, the minimum, 15 years. He was charged with attempt murder of Troy Ave. They did not find him guilty on that. They found him guilty of assault one on Troy Ave. That minimum is about seven. He is seven, I said that. Right? They found him guilty of, of uh, assault one on Mano Chick Maggie. Mano X chick, excuse me. Maggie got hit in the leg. She was in the same room. So they found him guilty of assault one on her. Another man named Christopher Vincent, who came and testified himself and said he lost half of his testing, intestine, was on the, the floor underneath that green room and got shot through the floor in his stomach. And he testified and they found him guilty because he wasn't in the same room, but downstairs of assault two. Hold on, no, hold on, no, hold on, no. Uh... Bro, I just pulled it up. Manslaughter in the second degree, New York. One man tw- one. Man one. one. 125, 15. This it's is not man two, it's man one. Huh? It's man oh, one. Man one? Man Hold on. Go go look up. Go look up Judge Clot. He was the one over the um GS9 case. Well look him uh-huh. up. He he's a fair he's a fair judge, but he 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 will give you the book if he have to, right? So sure. You gotta remember, this is not one case. He got charged with seven felonies. Yeah, but the, but, but listen, listen. His fair shit is his fair shit. Everything right. that happened in that building, right? That's his state shit, right? Right. So the the manslaughter, the I guess the shooting of the female, three, three, the, three half, half. the possession. Well, I don't know. They charged him with the possession of the firearm on state side. Two? Do, yes. yes, he Stay got two. He, he found guilty of possession of weapon. They said he traveled with that weapon from Brooklyn to okay. different venues, and okay. he got charged with intent to use that weapon. So he okay, found guilty. Okay, so that's of, five to ten. No, the minimum. The minimum on those is for him because he's a convicted felon already. Yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. So the minimum for a convicted felon of a firearm possession is seven. Seven, you're five to ten. Okay, seven. And so then the other he, one, the other assault is seven. It's two seven. Seven. That's seven, correct. 14, Minimum. 21. And then he got a five to 25 manslaughter. So he could very well get a nigga 25 and run it all concurrent. He could do that. Or he could run a nigga bow legged. Either way it go, he still got to go to the feds. The feds, these points going to book him. He going to be up there in the, in the 15 to 20 range off the rip. Right? Good time. That's 12 8. He ain't gonna I, get no good time, man. He gonna have to put nah, work See, look, so when you in the county jail, right, listen, when you in the county jail, right, this is how this works. You can go check it out. So if I'm in the, like, when I was in the county jail, I was in there for like 18 months, right? So they gave me 700 and something days time served. But it comes off the top. They gonna take it off the top. They ain't gonna say, well, you got this to do, you did this and this, this. It comes off the top. So if he got six, 
He going to get eight. He going they going to give him eight or nine nah, years. Remember, York, remember these words. New York don't do that, bro. So you saying they just give you just straight what you did? No, they give you earned. They got to give you something. No, bro. listen, listen. They give you earned good time. Earned. It's not guaranteed. You have to go before hearings to make if you got tickets, all that, they will take yeah. the good time. New York. Either way, even that. if they give it to him, he's still looking at 30 on a bow leg. Bro, the minimum, if you if you put the minimum yeah, on all of those, it's it's, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But nothing. Even if nothing they ran the nigga concurrent on the state side and gave him that off. That was left, and that's what he got to do on the fair side. He still left with 30. Oh, my Lord. Holy moly donut shop. 30 years? Oh, yeah, it's over. Ayo, hey, tax don't wrap it up, my boy. Like I said, go read the Quran. Go turn Muslim. Forget about this gang-banging life, this gangster life. Just give it up, bro. Give your life to Allah and come home a reform man. You're going to be 60 something, 70 something according to the math and all the time that Tribe Gangster and Wack 100 just broke down and said you about to get. But hey, man, what's y'all thoughts on this, man? Pull up in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about this, what y'all think about this. As always watching TV, you know the vibes. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on all socials at always watching TV. And I'm out of here. Gang.